Okay, Cormac and Colleen, we're the team that's go you're going to follow for race two for a little bit. We just thought we'd introduce ourselves. We're both fourth years out. We're Spider-Man and Wonder Woman. Yeah! Both fourth years doing this for the second time. We just thought we'd show you all around Sally's quad at five to five <laughs> on race morning. That's a really terrible Is that, shot. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm not getting this at all. Okay. Um, this is Boss B's crew. We've got everyone here. Everyone looking Everyone's a bit scared. The <laughs> Everyone's looking a bit scared, to, I'll be honest. But uh, we're very excited personally. Okay, so now we're in Reading Services, all the way down in England, near London. We're doing really, really well. Hopefully, next time we chat to you, we'll be en route to Dover, okay? Okay, right. We're in a car now. Uh, we got dropped off in Chiswick in London at a service station that we were told would be very good. We're now in a car with two French guys who we thought might have been going back to France Analysis. today. But we will hopefully finally get aboard our trip to Dover. And uh, they are very keen to get on Bubble TV, so... Yeah! So, what do you guys have to say? <laughs> Hello, hi! <laughs> you think in French, it's fine. Are you on the flex? Est-ce que vous êtes sur le flex? <laughs> um, so okay, we just got a lift from two very lovely French guys, from, um, and and they uh, dropped us at like ten miles out of their way on the M25. On the M25, finally got us out of London, thank God. And uh, we are now on a route in uh, a bus, uh, a, a bus. private bus. A coach. It's a private coach, just All for me, our own. just for Cormac and Colleen and Steve. Here. Just for the record, can we clarify where we are right now? Oh, Dover. Sorry, we're on a ferry. We've got a ferry. I was told that, you know, we were... Yeah, we're, we're and on a ferry. Can we, we also clarify what time it is? It's... We... Half past seven. We're going to be in there at nine o'clock in Calais. Um, very, very difficult to believe. Uh, we got in there at like half past two last year, so... Um, two and a... Five and a half hours... Well... Minus the one hour that we started earlier, so we're like we've raced four and a half hours faster through the UK. And we got all this lovely food that is now gone. Okay, arriving in Calais, and as luckily Irish would have it, or just look at me and Colleen in general, we have secured a lift that has taken us 500 kilometers, basically halfway through France. He's taking us past Orléans uh, a little bit, and he says it's literally this. He's taken us 500 kilometers, and there's another 500 kilometers to the Spanish border. So we are very excited that it's. 10 o'clock at night, French time, and we are sorted for the next five hours. And we are <laughs> literally, we do not know what the frick is happening. Someone up there loves us, and we love you too. Do you want to do um, an excited dance for a second? That was lovely. Thank you. Hello, here we are in Perpignan which is like an hour and a half outside of Barcelona and yet we've been here for an hour and a half because we can't find a lift at all. And they are our competition. Say hello. Bonjour. Uh, okay, so now we're in, we've met, we met it to Perpignan. A, we have beer. Uh, we are <laughs> also... Cheers! Uh, we are on the way to Girona. Uh, Hopefully we'll pass the team out that just got a lift ahead of us, but if we don't then fair and square, they, they beat us very well, and well done to them. Um, but we're hoping we can still win. And these two gentlemen are lovely and they've picked us up, they're taking us to Girona and possibly Barcelona after they have a little snooze. We're lying here on the ground in the central plaza of this town or city or whatever the hell it is, waiting on the prospect of blagging our way onto a bus in the morning. And this is the most comfortable we've been in day. Team number 69! Couldn't be anything else. <laughs> and number 29, we're here, right? We just met up with them when we got off the train. And we're looking for number 33. Oh, we haven't... There's 43. We're heading towards the hostel now. And we've all found them equal. This team also have found the experience rather tough. 
but um, awesome and rewarding and we're so excited to be in fucking Barcelona. And like I got a dock at my like in the room I was in at about seven o'clock in the morning saying like there was like three teams really really close. So just like going in and seeing them like burst through the door and like not knowing if they'd won and then being really excited like that was probably my highlight. And Hi, I'm Carly Brown. I was on Team Gin for the win, and we were part of the uh, the dynamic um, foursome that won the race to Barcelona this year. Uh, we won with Team Divine Fate. My favorite ride was easily Andre, the Ukrainian truck driver that we met on the Spanish border, um, who didn't speak. French, English, Spanish, or Italian. Um, so for most of it, we didn't know what language it was that he spoke. Um, and I asked him if he could, he, I just said, Barcelona, drive? And he said, come with me. And then he took us to the back of this this, um, this petrol station and showed me this like fan, like a, like a personal uh, fan with like a spritzer. And he goes, I want. And I was like, I buy for you, you take us, Barcelona. And he was like, yes. So that was probably the biggest expenditure of the trip. We bought this four, four euro fan for Andre, the it turns out Ukrainian truck driver. Um, and it turns out like he needed a fan because his truck was like, like sub-Saharan temperatures. It was extremely hot. Um, but it was just really fun. He was a really sweet guy, and he took a picture with us, and he showed us pictures of his daughter. Um, and he was he was really cool. And and he got a present, you know, out of the out of the experience, so that's all awesome. <laughs>